Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your daily analysis for Thursday 16th of January. I'm recording the video 6.40pm Eastern Standard Time on the 16th of January. This is the main wave count and I've changed the degree of labelling today within Intermediate Wave 5. I was expecting a green candlestick for Thursday's session. If this final fifth wave is continuing, then on the daily chart it should not show its subdivisions with red candlesticks. It would not be extended, it would be shorter than the third wave, and this third wave also is not extended and it does not show red candlesticks within it on the daily chart. This first wave here is extended and we can very clearly see its subdivisions, the second and the fourth wave, on the daily chart. Because we have a red candlestick here, I expect that this upwards wave is over and that now, from this low to this high, we have a completed 5 wave impulse. So I have moved the degree of labelling within it all down 1 degree because we should always assume the trend remains the same until proven otherwise. While price remains above 1646.47, we should assume that downwards movement is a second wave correction and that we have not had a huge trend change up here. This parallel channel is slightly redrawn, I've extended it out. It's drawn using Elliott's first technique with the first trend line from 1 to 3 and then a copy on 2. This channel contains minor wave 1, so we would expect minor wave 2 to clearly break through that channel. I would expect after that minor wave 2 should find support at the black and maroon channels that I am copying over here from the monthly chart. Minor wave 2 should be longer in duration than minute waves 4 and 3, they are 1 degree lower, within minor wave 1 so I'd expect minor wave 2 to be longer than the longest of them. Minute wave 4 here lasted 10 days or sessions, so minor wave 2 is likely to be longer than 10 days or sessions. At any stage over the next few days to a couple of weeks or so, if we see any movement at all above 1840.84, then the alternate idea that I'll present later in the video would be immediately invalidated, this main wave count would be confirmed, we would have it confirmed that we're looking at a second wave correction unfolding. Let's have a look at the very start of it with this red candle here, on the hourly chart it begins here, this point here. So far to the downside we have 1, 2, 3, or we could also label it A, B, C. If we're seeing a five wave structure down unfold on the hourly chart, then within it, minuet wave four may not enter minuet wave one price territory above 1846.49. If we see downwards movement tomorrow, then we'll have a clear five wave structure down. This may be minute wave A within minor two. We could also move it down one degree. It could be minuet wave one within minute A within minor 2. If price moves above 1846.49 early tomorrow, then we will have to relabel this instead of 123 ABC. They have exactly the same subdivisions. That would be an A wave and we'd be looking for a B wave up. The B wave may make a new price extreme beyond the start of the A wave when A subdivides as a 3. So a breach of this short-term invalidation point immediately means it's also possible we may see movement above 1850.84. Overall, for this wave count, I would expect overall downwards movement for at least 10 days or sessions. If minor wave 2 unfolds as a flat correction, we may see a new high above 1850.84 within it or if it's a combination that includes a running triangle also, we could see a new high above that point. At the daily chart level, this is the same wave count as yesterday, except because of this red candlestick, minor wave 5 would most likely be over. This is an absolutely enormous trend change though. The new trend, the downwards trend for cycle wave C, should last from 1 to several years, 
and should take price substantially below 666.79. It's very wise to wait for some confirmation of that enormous trend change before having any confidence whatsoever in it. This wave count requires confirmation below 1646.47. Initially, if we see price move below the black and maroon channels, and also if we see a nice clear five wave structure down on the daily chart, this would probably become my main wave count. We'll see how this one unfolds over the next couple of weeks or so. At any stage, any movement above 1840.84 would immediately and firmly invalidate this alternate wave count. At the daily chart level, this is the bullish alternate, and I've treated this the same way as the main wave count today. I've moved everything within this impulse all down one degree, because again, we should assume that the trend remains the same until proven otherwise. For this one, again, about 10 days at least of overall downwards movement within it may include a new price extreme for unfolds as a flat or a combination. I was expecting more upwards movement for Thursday. I was expecting a few more days of upwards movement. That may not be what we've got. We've either got a second wave correction at minor degree, possibly a second wave correction at intermediate degree, and less possibly at this early stage, a huge trend change at cycle degree happened just a couple of days ago. Overall, I'm expecting downwards movement for at least 10 days or sessions now. That's all for me today with your S&P analysis and I hope that all our members are looking forward to a fabulous weekend.